going on guys? Welcome to the video. Uh, right now, I'm listening to some beats that I made on the MPC 1000 back in like 2004, 2005, something like that. And um, it just struck me if we're gonna be able to open up vintage MPC projects in the MPC3 software. I haven't heard anything about that. So let me know in the comments if you know anything about that. But uh, as far as these beats that I've been going through so far, it's been, um, you know, just some minor things. I was running JJOS on my 1000, on my MPC 1000 that I made this beat in. And uh, it's working pretty well. It's just some minor things that I gotta go in and fix. And I think the levels are off. And, you know, of course, if I use some of the effects in the old MPC, I don't think that's gonna work. But other than that, pretty good. So um, yeah, let's get into the video and just check out this beat that I did in 2004. So like I said, this beat, I made it on the MPC 1000 with JJOS. I can't remember which version. And back in like around 2005, I think. Maybe maybe earlier. Um, and it transfers really well. But I have to admit, back then I didn't... Uh, I didn't really add many effects and compression. Do too, too much advanced stuff in an MPC 1. But um, yeah, it transfers well. What I do have to change is um, my chops, they're overlapping. So I had to go in and in the pro in program um, mode and uh, change it from poly on the global, change from poly to um, mono. And that, that fixed that. Also, I feel like, you know, the levels are kind of all, all over the place. So maybe that, that didn't transfer perfectly anyway, but at least I'm able to open the beats, you know, which is great. So I'm going to do more videos when I go through some of my beats from back then and just do a listening session and talk about them and, you know, actually play some of the songs that I recorded back then too with um, different artists. Um, some of them pretty big and like, big in, in the underground scene or like hip-hop hip-hop so that would probably be a fun video let me know in the comments if that sounds like a good idea to you guys and uh yeah let's let's mess around a little bit more with this i think i'm gonna do a remake on this beat too or at least touch it up you know but let's listen to it now so i had yeah oh and there, there was like i remember i had at least two, three different variations of the sample. So this was just the main loop that we're listening to right now. Let me see if I can find the other ones even. Now that's another one. like a couple of years back then where this snare where is it um let me see yeah this snare was in like one out of three beats back then like track masters was a couple of producers that always used it i think it came from the triton keyboard actually but another rim shot there too but I actually muted that now because I thought it sounded like way too loud Let me see 
if I can find the other sequences. I actually think I made another beat with the same samples here. <laughs> I can tell that the levels and the mix sound pretty off, but I like the idea. I'm gonna actually make a video and go back and go through a lot of these old beats and see which ones I wanna touch up now and, and do a remake on them. That would be a fun project for me and probably, you know, probably for you guys too. Let me know in the, in the comments if that sounds like a good idea to you. But anyway, the main reason I made this video was because I, it just struck me, Will, vintage project files transferred to mpc3 are we going to be able to open them if you guys have seen any any um information about that anywhere let me know if not i guess the time is now to to get all your old projects done you know before you totally move on to mpc3 i mean i've heard that, that you can jump back and forth but you know might as well get them done now right guys i reached 1000 subscribers yesterday it's a very small number but still fun you know it shows me that you guys appreciate the videos and you know it makes it more fun to me to uh keep making them all right guys thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one